we all have been victims of procrastination some or other time but we need to beat procrastination to get the work done isn't it so in this video let us see what are the reasons for procrastination and how to beat them so as to get the work done first of all let me start with that never feel guilty about procrastination we blame ourselves that uh, something we might have done wrong and it is we only and it is uh, from our inside i only don't want to do the job but actually there might be some other reasons which we are not aware of so first we'll see what are the reasons and then we'll deal with each of these reasons one by one so common reasons of why we procrastinate are first of all lack of clarity what these are lack of clarity of what and everything in detail we'll deal later insufficient awareness poor focus fear about something lack of urgency okay that a uh, lot of time is there i will do it later lack of discipline very important unnecessary interruptions and distractions which has become very common these days and mental overload so let us see each of these in detail and uh, we'll also discuss how to tackle each of them first of all lack of clarity lack of clarity means that why i should do this what is the importance of doing this task then what actually needs to be done that has to be very clear maybe we are not clear of that and how we should approach the task so even when we are procrastinating maybe in subconscious mind these questions are there and we are not even thinking that maybe we are not uh, starting the task because of these reasons so we have to think about the reason that why we are not starting the task so are these uh, reasons applicable for you for each topic you have to think whenever you are landing in procrastination so when you have lack of clarity of these things how to tackle that first of all very important that you can take help you don't know how to approach the task you can talk with people that uh, who have already done the task or you can always talk to your teachers isn't it that uh, how should i approach this task and i am finding it very difficult and maybe that is why i am running away from the topic uh, subconsciously then very important answer your why we don't know that why we are doing what we are doing if we don't know why we need to do something then it will be very difficult to actually go ahead with the task very important this may not apply to studies because studies we know okay we have to pass the exam we have to become good doctors fine but uh, maybe suppose you want to start exercising and somebody else does and you want to do it but you have not really answered to the reason why you want to do it is it for your uh, um, losing weight is it for uh, improving your physique and uh, how strong is that why that will determine the your driving force to do it okay so always answer your why for doing something then very important that you have to create a vision for yourself now this is important because we are living in present self we are not thinking about future always we think okay whether this task right now it is important or not and we will delay it but suppose our vision is very important that uh, we want to become great doctors we have to acquire lot of good knowledge not only just to pass the exams maybe for that you may think okay if i study only 20 minutes or maybe for 2 hours then uh, i will be able to prepare this topic and i will be able to pass the exam but if your vision is clear that what you are looking yourself as a future in the future then maybe you will be much more disciplined yes i understand that it is a little difficult especially for uh, students to visualize their future isn't it we that age is like that but uh, i think that if you start thinking from today that okay maybe after 5 years what you want to be maybe after 3 years what you want to be uh, maybe that for learning medicine you need to learn physiology better isn't it so it's not very far away future little far only so maybe it will help you right then always think of consequences of doing the task and of not doing the task obviously if you do the task right now then it will help you isn't it 
and you will feel much better rather than actually scoring the marks and all first thing is that we feel better when we accomplish a task and obviously of not doing the task if you are delaying the task again and again then it will add to your mental worries and later on everything you have to finish very fast so you have to be very clear in mind that how you are going to approach the task and why the task is important for you next is that there is insufficient awareness about what is motivation and why i am procrastinating so that's what i am telling that it it is not like it is your personality to procrastinate there is nothing like that okay we have to find the reason that why we are procrastinating there is no genes for procrastination and uh, second thing is about motivation we think that i am not uh, too much motivated to do the job actually that is not the way to look into it there is nothing called motivation will make you do the task actually it is you should take action and action is going to give to you adequate motivation it is not the other way around remember if you are looking for motivation for everything for any task you are doing i am sorry that is not going to help why because for that you will need lot of will power and you know what is will power will power is like a bucket full of water the more you take out of it the more it will become empty so will power ends actually maybe for two days three days you will say okay let me read it but you cannot do it forever okay so you don't need motivation you have to ha- start with action and you will understand that when you start in the flow you get the motivation of doing that so action creates motivation not motivation creates action so as i told you action creates motivation and not vice versa and if you look for motivation uh, every time then you will need unlimited will power which is impossible okay nobody has unlimited will power and you have to be very clear of the reasons why you are procrastinating third very important reason is poor focus anybody who has poor focus will not enjoy the task and if the task is not enjoyable then obviously you will run away from the task focus creates pleasure because what happens that it gives some information to your mind and that creates a state in which we start enjoying the task so poor focus is very important reason for procrastination so that means we have to develop certain habits to increase our focus so what are the reasons for poor focus one is that we are worrying too much so many things are running in our mind and we are always worrying and also worrying that this topic is too difficult this topic is too huge i will not be able to complete that or maybe we think that i am not that smart yes smartest people of the world also think that they are not as smart so you need not compare yourself to anybody that uh, he is so smart that is so smart what is a smartness only when you work today you will improve tomorrow so smartness is not something again that there is some genes for a smartness if obviously your neuronal growth is normal then the more you work hard today tomorrow you will be smarter so this is again one a reason where people think that i will not be able to do it so they do not focus and very important these days too many distractions you have started reading there will be a notification which pops up from the mobile there is a friend which uh, comes in so these and all we have to tackle to develop focus so how to do that one very important technique which i am sure all of you might have uh, heard about it and that is pomodoro technique and what is this technique this technique is basically where we focus for 25 minutes and it is undivided attention to a particular task for 25 minutes and then there we is a break of 5 minutes and again we focus for 25 minutes and again is a break of 5 minutes if you have followed this technique you will realize that 25 minutes pass just like this it is not very hard however you have to make sure that you have switched off your mobile phones and you have just say tata bye bye to all your distractions and then keep on focusing now what happens uh, you start focusing and somebody disturbs then what to do then you have to stop 
the timer then and there and again start for 25 minutes see you have to build a habit of focusing you cannot just say that uh, yeah i read for 25 minutes and when there were lot of interruptions in between that is not done and that's what i see that so many students uh, keep on telling that uh, i read whole day so my dear friend if you tell me that i read whole day then i understand only one thing that you don't read at all right focusing and reading maybe even 45 minutes a day if you start with that it will be very productive but during that time it should only be reading if it is full of distractions and you are saying you are sitting with the book for 4 hours that is not going to help at all okay so that you have to make sure then obviously you have to switch off mobile phones and do not multitask i hear so often people saying that multitasking this generation multitask and all that's it is all nonsense okay multitasking is so yesterday for today it is focus okay it was all thought that multitasking is good but actually it is very bad okay so when you are doing a task do that particular task only and do not uh, try to complete many things together that actually decreases the efficiency and interferes with formation of memory as well so you are thinking you have read but actually nothing has gone into the memory plus avoid over stimulation this is a very chronic problem these days that uh, we suppose we are studying and then we are going to take a break now what happens during that break instead of leaving our mind free we pick up our cell phones and then we start imbibing lot of information which is coming in cell phones our brain actually wants complete rest also so when we are doing this kind of break it is basically over stimulating our brain and that is why we see that uh, nowadays students are getting so much tired they say that uh, just after attending the class we are getting so much tired isn't it why is that because during the breaks they are also getting uh, their brain overfed with information before what we used to do we had nothing to do okay so after the class we would enjoy it will be a, like a total free time right so avoid over stimulation is one very important thing so there was this question put forward by one uh, student in our channel that when to take break while avoiding procrastination so thing is that i would say that if you make a discipline of reading maybe 45 minutes you start with 25 minutes because if uh, you, there is not a habit of focusing then 45 minutes you will find very difficult but slowly slowly you will see that as you start enjoying that time it will easily extend to 40 45 minutes without disruption i'm telling without any interruption okay so you start with some time 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes and then take a huge break i mean don't uh, overfeed your mind with any other new information just go relax have a coffee chat with friends okay i don't mean virtual friends real friends okay so that will help you take a break and then go back to your reading because now your mind has taken a switch so it will feel like uh, you will feel like reading okay so thing is focusing then taking a break okay 5 minutes may be less for you you go ahead with 15 minutes i am not saying that you have to go for 15 minutes maybe when there is urgency maybe when there are exams coming then you go ahead with exact pomodoro technique of 25 minutes reading 5 minutes break and again 25 minutes reading so that will help you much better now this is one uh, message i got from somebody that as soon as i come home from college i am feeling so tired that i can't progress my day from that point i don't sleep so i think that it may be because of over stimulation okay and or it may be because of improper sleep these are very important now but the person said actually i sleep a lot maybe then it is maybe because of improper diet also improper health also these all are very important because what happens in a student life maybe we are living in hostels right and these get compromised very fast our bodies cope till a certain point but after that they give up right so it is very important to maintain a discipline of sleeping 
maybe seven hours is actually recommended but uh, maybe in student life six hours is also enough body can cope with that but proper diet is very important if you are not getting proper diet then you should uh, take some fruits you can always buy fruits uh, isn't it so you have to take care of diet and health and do avoid over stimulation because i think these days this is the main reason that why we are chronically tired the next aspect of procrastination is lack of urgency which i feel many students will agree with this they think that they will read for exam so exam is after one month i will read tomorrow they keep on delaying i will read afterwards and they read only for exam so i think that many students will agree with this that why they are procrastination it is because of lack of urgency so what we think is yeah there is ample time test is on this day na there is lot of time i will read about it so that can be avoided by a daily routine they are targeting they are reading only for the test they don't have any routine so that is one reason that uh, why they are not reading why they are procrastinating and no motivation and as i told you actually it is no daily routine and that is why there is no motivation there is nothing called motivation once you have a daily routine you will sit at that particular time to read so how to handle this habit formation very important build cues even if you are feeling very tired after maybe your classes what you do you take a good break i'm not telling that you read every time full time you keep on reading you take a nice break and maybe you decide that okay 6 o'clock when i will come back uh, to my room or maybe after having a nice coffee and tea or maybe after evening snacks i will sit down but you decide that and you do that so after every evening coffee day after day you have to sit for studying initially you will find it difficult but later on as this habit forms you will realize that if this is missed you will not feel good so habits uh, work both ways actually bad habits also drives you towards itself and good habit also drives you towards itself so if you try to make a habit initially you say it maybe for 5 minutes only right you will see that within no time this will extend to 10 minutes 15 minutes and slowly slowly it will become your habit so it is very important to develop a routine to avoid procrastination now this is one thing if you ask me one thing which i tell you to be procrastination then it is habit formation whatever it is it should be that after this particular thing i am going to study once i sit on my chair at 7 o'clock i have to start studying so that should be very clear so this is one thing which i recommend from my side then there are other things also like suppose some people say that okay i have habit of studying but i avoid because uh, maybe that um, a test is on that particular day and why should i study but i told you that if habit is there this question will not come to your mind second you can create imaginary urgency that means even if test is on that particular day you create your entire course you break down into small small segments and create imaginary urgency means this particular thing i have to complete by today next particular thing i have to complete by next day so for that particular aspect today is the urgency for that you have created a deadline today so that is known as imaginary urgency and parkinson's law says that work expands to fill time so suppose there is some small work okay that can be done in maybe 1 hour but you have 10 hours to do the work then if you think that okay it is 10 hours i will do comfortably yes the work will take 10 hours to do okay so if you create imaginary urgency that i have to create do this work in 1 uh, hour then you will be able to finish it in 1 hour so this is very important actually if you have excess time you will do same work in a extended period of time 
but one word of caution i will put here that uh, don't make it too urgent because if you are making it too urgent then your worry will increase oh i have to finish it i have to finish it and you will keep looking at the watch that i don't want because when you are focusing you should not look at the watch also you should be in flow with the material what you are studying fine so this is what i wanted to tell want to study but still procrastinating it may be because you are thinking oh, okay we have apple of time and then i will read about it if it is a habit then you need not think about want to study your brain will itself tell you that it is study time you have to read and if you don't do it you will feel uncomfortable and this is my promise that if you develop a habit maybe over 20 days 25 days you follow a routine after 25 days if you don't do it you will not feel good okay so that is one of my suggestion habit formation then uh, again very common these days too many distractions and frictions yes so that you have to actively avoid see what i do that whenever i am working i just keep my uh, phone in the drawer i don't look at it because if it is lying in front of me me automatic my hand goes and picks it up i just move it away okay or switch it off so that is very important and you should learn to say no sometimes because if you, if, if it is your study time your friends will come knocking let us go there let us go and have a coffee it may be that they have already completed their study and now they are coming for coffee but it is going to disturb you isn't it so you should command that when you are going to go for walk when you are going to for co- coffee movie anything okay so during your study time you should not get disturbed so it is like adding friction for unproductive behaviors they should be away from you unproductive behavior should not be near you when phone is near you it will promote that kind of behavior then suppose too many friends are there better go to library better go to a reading room for study then one very important thing which i find in many students is mental overload too much pending work if there is too much pending work then it is in our memory right we are always thinking about it and that will interfere with focusing so again you will go into procrastination but we will not be aware of the reason everything is happening subconsciously so that we have to uh, remove too much pending work and unnecessary worries so how to do that write down your worries very important you are just shifting everything from your mind to the paper and you will realize that when you do that automatically your mind will start making a plan how to handle that okay and that is how basically you are freeing your working memory and it helps in focusing also you you make a to do list now this to do list should not be very long that okay i have to do 10 things tomorrow then it will be only a list and you will never be able to complete it you think about tasks which you will be able to complete in 45 minutes what are the topics which i will be able to complete in 45 minutes or 25 minutes which is my focusing time okay put it down okay this time maybe uh, from uh, 6 to 6:45 i will read this particular topic then maybe afterwards i will have a shorter focus time where i will try to read another topic right so to do list you have to make an evening before why an evening before why not on that day why not when you are sitting that day this is because your sleep is very important so you are having too much worries too much pending tasks this everything is going to affect your sleep secondly if you write it down one day before what happens your brain will chart out a plan in the sleep it will kind of prepare your mind that yes you have to complete this task tomorrow and morning you will feel more energetic more driven towards your task okay so it has to be done an evening uh, before but remember do not put too many tasks on the list because it will add to the worry and you will not be able to finish it and you will think that okay i am not that smart that i am not able to do there is nothing like that so in summary how to tackle procrastination 
first thing which I told you from my side which is most important for a student is habit formation and discipline. I know it is difficult but it is something which will go a very long way in improving not only your studies but your personality and the manner of doing anything because discipline will work at multiple levels. It, it will help you remove the distractions also. It will help you increase your focus also. So overall what you are doing its quality is going to increase so your memory is also going to increase and also remember action creates motivation it is not other way around if you are telling me i do not have motivation then my thing is that only you are procrastinating because of some other reason then avoid fear very important we are very feared about uh, maybe i'm not that is smart or tasks are too big so break the task into smaller components okay break the task into smaller com components so that now you are not fearing that uh, task and they are like within your reach and slowly slowly you will see that you fear nothing okay take help in how to approach the task what's important create a vision for yourself this switch i understand little bit difficult but okay if you try good good one otherwise fine not a big issue write down a plan an evening before very important i will suggest you you do this write down everything one evening before free your working memory this is going to remove your uh, worries also and uh, you will be able to take in new information and also be tiredness with breaks, sleep, diet and exercise. Exercise is very important. Actually, you should take a walk. You should take go for exercising and um, it makes you feel energetic throughout the day. Now, one question I got uh, today that uh, how to read a boring subject? Yeah, I know life is boring. Everything is boring <laughs> because we are made to do things which we don't want to do and uh, we are not allowed to do things which we want to do correct but uh, i think that uh, once you create a discipline it is not about boring or entertaining because your focus will be so much that the information which you are getting the understanding which comes of the information it itself gives you a pleasure and the boring becomes interesting Yes, that happens. I'm telling you that uh, if you start tackling something, if you start understanding something, then it becomes either interesting or it becomes too easy for you. So if it is too easy, then definitely you will say, okay, let me just sit and finish it off. Right. So boring is something which is not giving you enough challenge. Okay. Or maybe... Second thing may be that it is not of your reading pattern. Maybe you say that, okay, I don't know how to draw diagrams and also I'm not able to understand anatomy. I find it boring. But uh, I will say from my experience of uh, how many students I have seen, it is not like that. It is basically, we are not enjoying the subject that we find difficult and hence may be boring. If you have any other views on that, type in the comment section below and maybe I will try to deal with them also. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, do press the like button, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Physiology Open. Thank you.